Hey, welcome back to Steve Horvath Fishing. Tournament fishing. It sucks. The state of tournament fishing is in turmoil. You've got people that cheat, and there's always been people that cheat. They cheat by a little bit, or they cheat by a lot. But people have always bent and stretched the rules. That's not going to go away. The problem is the tournament organizations, both of the big ones, kind of sweep stuff under the rug, especially if that pro is, how can we say, attached to one of the major sponsors of that tournament or league or organization or whatever you want to call it. There's another problem with tournament fishing. It's not what it used to be. And this is why it's not what it used to be. $70,000 truck, $100,000 boat, $20,000 in rods, reels, and electronics. And you win the tournament fishing against 11 guys and go home with $167. What is that? Why would I ever even want to do that? If I fish in a tournament, I want to fish against the best competition that I can fish against. It's not all about me being able to gloat and to beat four other people or six or ten other people and then post on Facebook, hey, look at me, I'm a hero. That's why I belong to the bass club that I do. It's the largest bass club in New Jersey. They've got several guys that fish the pro circuit. One guy's fished two Bassmaster Classics. And there's a minimum of 30 to 60 guys that show up just for a regular club tournament. That's competition. Stuff below that, in my opinion, is not the same. It doesn't turn me on. It doesn't excite me to go fish against a couple of other guys. Especially when I'm going to win the tournament, if I win the tournament, or do real well. And be down 200 bucks for the day. I mean, even in our larger club, you're not exactly making your boat payment for the month when you, when you, you know, you win. If when you think about all the expenses you have, traveling, gas, food, lodging, anything else like that. But it doesn't hurt so bad. And not that, oh, look, you, if you can't afford to fish, well, you shouldn't fish. It, it's not that I can't afford to fish. It's just that Sometimes the dollars don't make the sense. And I'll go back to the old days. There used to be two or three tournaments in the area a month. Maybe four total. That would give you one possible tournament to fish on a weekend. Maybe something on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night. And that's it. It drew a lot more boats, a lot more people. You fished against better competition. Nowadays, the, the state of fishing is just, it's, it's in turmoil, like I said. It's not what it used to be. It's not what it could be. And in my eyes, a lot of it is the fault of sponsors and organizations. It seems like every Tom, Dick, and Harry that has the money for a scale, all of a sudden, they're a tournament promoter. Now, I have no problem with somebody that wants to do it. They can join up with somebody else. But all they're doing is taking money away from fishermen. And the other thing is, a lot of times when you fish for one of these big organizations, it's awfully hard to make a profit even if you cash in a, quote, professional style tournament. I'll give you an example. BFL, okay, Bass Fishing League, owned by MLF. It's the weekend deal, okay? It's for the weekend angler. Number one, you're probably traveling four or five hours from home to fish a weekend angler tournament. Then, you're going to spend several days in a motel or campground, and let's say you spend $1,000 on that trip. Now, 
if you win the tournament, depending on how many boats they have, you can win anywhere from 3000 to say $5,000. And there's some contingency prizes and stuff like that. The only way that I see this being financially acceptable is if you make it to the regionals, which have a higher prize money, but now you have to pay entry fee for a tournament that used to be no entry fee. And then if you make it to the nationals, I believe you still have to pay an entry fee for a tournament that had no entry fee. So you spend a thousand dollars for the weekend. If you don't finish in the top four out of a hundred and some guys, you're going home in the negative. What sense does that make? Why would I want to do that? For my ego? My ego is big, but it ain't that big. Do I do it to make myself feel better? No. The only way I can ever see me doing something like that is if I want to truly test myself to find out where I stand against other anglers. And you'll get your answer within a few years of doing it. Now don't, don't think that I'm against tournament fishing. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I love the competition. I love matching my wits against the bass and seeing how I did with the bass against everybody else. I just think that tournament fishing overall is in a very sorry state. Hey, for Steve Horvath Fishing, I'm Steve.